Hey, hey guys, I'm uh, Tiffany Jade Hightower. I'm the writer, director, and producer for High Side Films. But uh, on this project, I'm just Tiffany, <laughs> just another MS survivor trying to get the word out and uh, hoping that at some point we can get a cure for this disease. Um, taking a taking a moment uh, away from posting stuff, other stuff about the documentary, because of course it's a part of it. But um, I'm taking a moment away just to let you know a little bit about uh, me. Right now, I um, I got a little cold, which for somebody who has MS, there's really no such thing as a little cold because what might be little for somebody with a healthy immune system for us means um, a heck of a lot more because um, I know with my situation, uh, no matter what, no matter how sick I get, I can't take antibiotics with the um, with the medicine for MS that I'm on so you know all, all I can do is try and not get sick which is crazy especially in weather like this I know today here it's raining and cold and all that good stuff but um, you know I think back about something funny I have um, one of my best friends uh, is still to this day um, always reminds me that when I was in kindergarten when we were together in kindergarten, one time she had coughed. She had coughed, you know, right behind me. And I turned around and I'm like, don't cough on me. <laughs> she always reminds me of that. But now I think about it and it's so serious. Now, now, um, at, you know, at this point in time, it's like, you know, when people cough, I'm already kind of trying to run for the hills because I know that probably within about um, an hour I'll have whatever cold they have or whatever flu they have or whatever it is and um, and the interesting part about it is that um, when I think about that time and it wasn't it wasn't her because I, I love her so much but it wasn't her who made me um, you know sick with this at all you know I mean it was just funny how she reminds me but in that same school years later you know she wasn't even in my class anymore by that time but we were still great friends and still are to this day but uh, I think I was about 10 maybe 9 8 somewhere around there who, who knows but um, anyway there was an outbreak of mononucleosis in the school and um, and the reason why I bring that up is that I ended up catching mono um, and and I got very very sick I mean I was you know, uh, vomiting like crazy. I, I, you know, my um, temperature was going up and down, it, out the roof. It was crazy. And the um, reason why I mention that is that I've been reading a lot about EMS. And, uh, and then I noticed something where I stumbled upon where it said people who've had mono in childhood are more likely to develop multiple sclerosis as an adult. And that's, you know, when I saw that, it was almost like these these words kind of jumped out of the page. And I was like, well, well, I had mono. Is that why I have, you know, MS? It, who knows? But all those little things, I think about how uh, during that time I couldn't take um, from, based on what my mother said, I couldn't really take, um, there wasn't medicine for it. You kind of had to let it run its course, you know. And um, But while it's running its course, it's breaking down your immune system, which, you know, I believe. And I... I Definitely, I can't say that if I never got mono, then I would have MS. Um, but at the same time, what I can say is that it did end up running its course. You know, maybe it weakened my, uh, you know, my immune system and my nerves a little bit. But the thing about it is it went away as far as I knew it. And I just kind of think that, you know, what homeopathic things or what vitamins are um, medicines can we take with MS to to um, to help this disease and, you know I I don't know these are things that bounce around in my head as I really really try and go um, seriously and dive seriously into um, figuring this disease out I mean I, I do it for myself and I definitely do it uh, I use myself as a vessel to let you all know uh, what I go through if you if any of those things are the same for you then maybe it's good we can you know, put those ideas together, and at some point there has to be a cure for this. It just has to be. And, um, but I know also a thing about it is that even like um, right now with this 
this cold. I don't really, <laughs> I don't really know what to do. Um, you know, all I can do is just hope that it's gone by today. I really don't have a lot of time to wait on um, any type of sicknesses because if I don't get it um, early, then it can possibly go to something more serious like bronchitis or pneumonia. Um, and both of those things are very, very dangerous for somebody with a weakened immune system. Um, it doesn't matter if it's um, MS or cancer or any of those um, very serious diseases. And, um, you know, I don't, I don't know. Um, you know, I just try and keep on going with that. Another reason why I focus so much on the projects I'm working on right now, I mean, um, this it's clear that I'm doing this documentary, but it's um, I'm also um, trying to get my feature film complacent um, finished this year as well and you know it's just I don't take any day for granted and I just think that um, you know even though we do have MS we we all have to really you know push ourselves to not let it um, control us and you know so that's what I do um, but hopefully I don't have a cold anymore tomorrow so I'm gonna what I'm gonna try and do is take uh, vitamin B12 um, a lot of that and then also take some um, you know some of the drinks that have a lot of vitamins in them like the um, immune system booster type deal uh, I'll try and do that and then also some ibuprofen because when I get sick that I notice that my headaches get worse because I have more inflammation from the sickness you know um, I hope this makes sense I mean I, I make it up day by day because it's just what I, I assume what I what I feel like goes on uh, with my body but uh, which I think for us with MS it's, that's the most important thing for us to uh, notice the things that happen with our own body um, we know what works and what we what doesn't so um, right now I have pounding migraine <laughs> like crazy and then I'm all congested in here and uh, you know get a little bit swollen around this area um, but it is what it is. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you all go, and I will try and post more, <clears throat> try and post more um, from the other parts of the documentary, and uh, yeah, and I'll I'll see you all later. All right, have a good day. Stay positive, and um, keep on trying to get the word out. All right.